All right, guys. Um, this is day six. Today we are just gonna keep it straight up, and I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. It's it just it's a slow day, like slow day in, in terms of there's only so much I can do on a Sunday. I've been posting a lot of content, like I mentioned, videos got starting to pick up 700 followers. Uh, I created an IG today, so I'm gonna start repurposing more of the content on other platforms, like I mentioned in my past video, but. Yeah, we're, I think this week, when we're going into this week, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be able to maximize as much outreach and things like that. Maybe even add some cold call and maybe looking at local businesses that even sell products and trying to get them on board. Because at the end of the day, content is content. Like regardless if the brand is an e-commerce brand or a brick and mortar brand, they both can be on TikTok and be beneficial in some sort of way. So I think that's going to be the plan kind of starting out the week. Um, as far as like the agency, I mean, I've been doing a lot of admin work. I've got a ton of response and a ton of calls booked on the agency side. And that's why, that's simply because I do code email, but it's all automated through the software that I use, which is instantly AI. This is not a promo, I'm just saying the software that I use. Um, usually I do group calls on Sundays, pretty laid back, check in with a lot of my students. One of my students actually just landed a brand deal. He has a sales call tomorrow and he's actually been asking me like what to say. And the thing that what I tell a lot of my new students who get on these sales calls, because a lot of them don't have a ton of experience when it comes to sales, even myself, like when I first got my first brand deal, it was me getting on a sales call and pitching $2,000. I shit my pants when I said that. So basically gonna give them some pointers, um, just positioning and pitching it the right way because someone who's never gotten a sales call probably don't know what to say. So I'm gonna put together some type of doc for him today just to be able to guide him why he's on this sales calls, you know, questions to ask uh, and so on and so forth. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it straight up. Like there's just not much that's going on today other than shooting content. You guys kind of seen the content, but I'm gonna keep you guys updated as far as with the, the, how the page grows, putting a lot more time into the content as far as doing more market research. Um, and yeah, this week, like I said, this is gonna be full go. Try to get this, try to get brands coming in. Like I said, we have a ton of brands that we do have in a pipeline. Now it's just playing the follow up game and also um, having this page being built in the meantime. Oh, I did also want to mention, if you are using the list that I gave you guys uh, from day one, if you're getting responses, the best way to go about when someone's asking you, okay, what, what have you done? What work have you, like you've done before? Go on their TikTok or even find like similar like products in their niche and just send them examples of what you can make for them and then that's how you're gonna get your foot in the door. Most people, you know, who get those responses kind of freak out on like actually not knowing what to say. So I recommend doing that right off the bat if someone does answer and give you the time of the day to kind of pitch them on, you know, TikTok. But like I said, other than that, that's really it. Keep you guys updated throughout the week and um, yeah, see you guys on the next day or so. All right, so that positive response that I told you guys I got yesterday um, from this company, they basically said, hey, shoot over any proposal. Um, so I sent them an email or whatnot, and I jotted up this, you can come over here and show them this. I jotted up this um, list that I sent over brands. It's basically like an info list when it comes to brands who don't really know much about TikTok. This is basically just getting your foot in the door. All right, so guys, when brands ask me, I basically put this list together uh, about a day or so ago. When brands ask me, what have I done? Given the fact that I can't use any of my case study, this is exactly what I show. It's just a doc of breaking down why, why that brand should be on TikTok, you know, validating the content, the product, because a lot of people in this game, especially brand owners, have a belief where it's like, okay, I don't think our products can work on TikTok. I truly believe like any product can work on TikTok if done right. So this is basically just giving them a, a basic, just free, a ton of free information where it's in, it just makes the most sense for them to want to book a call with me overall. So I put together this list. I do encourage you guys to kind of put something together where you can come off credible right off the bat. Because like I said, if you don't have anything to show for, you're pitching these brands, like that brand who asked me to send over some type of proposal. Right now I can't use my case study. So I'm going to send this over as my proposal. And then of course, push for the call. Um, um, sometimes this week. So I recommend, like I said, just doing your research on the brand, putting together some type of doc, whereas then you're able to add, you know, inspo, what you could do, even offering them some type of sample video. And then from there, like I said, that's how you're gonna be able to get your foot in the door and even position yourself to charge right up the front or even a commission-based deal. So it's really up to you. But um, yeah, that's, that's what I would recommend.